Welcome back to the shop. In this episode, we're going to tear apart a Hunter TC150 tire machine. The uh, bead breaker's not working, and a uh, buddy of mine gave it to me, and we're going to see if we can fix it. Stay tuned. Well, as I said in the intro, shop dog's out here. <clears throat> and we're right in the bright autumn sun here um but we got a hunter tc150 tire machine that um whatever this whatever that hooks to broke on the inside i don't know if it just blew a link apart or if it blew what it broke well that's for the bead breaker but a buddy of mine gave it to me because he didn't want to mess with it done done changing tires and i figured well what the hell? We'll tear it apart and see. So, pull this cover off the front and see what we see. Well, I lost the clip, a video that showed what actually happened, but this chain broke all the welds off right there. And that's what pulls on the bead breaker. This thing, there's a piston and like a shift fork, and this thing shifts up and grabs onto the uh, motor there as it spins and then that pulls on this chain and does the bead bead breaker and uh, That chain popped off of there So I just kind of beat it back on and welded it. I you cannot Find parts for a hunter machine for some reason. I don't know what this cable does that was broken This will make sense. I'll show you when I put it back together. This will make a lot more sense then but yeah I lost, I lost that video clip, but this is this is the fix. When you can see, so when you pull the bead breaker arm out, it opens up that little valve right there. And when it does that, you push on this pedal, it puts air to this cylinder right here, which moves this shift fork thing up. And then it locks in right there. And then it pulls on the chain, which I don't, I can get you guys a video of it. Maybe I can. See, that's how it works right there. So, as long as my uh, duck shit welds hold, we uh, we should be good. There's a cable cable right here, which I don't know what that's supposed to do. It's broke. I I think maybe that was supposed to be like a spring of some kind. To pull this back in because if you don't have that you kind of got to let it wheel itself in there I'm sorry for the terrible video I'm trying to tire machines are kind of a two-handed thing to do and holding the camera you only got one but uh yeah so I think maybe that's what that cable thing was supposed to be I don't know it's broke for the amount of use that this thing's gonna get I'd, I'd say we're doing we're doing all right so I put, I put this tire on backwards. This tire here, I have a one facing, got them facing, both facing the same way and one needs to go opposite. Okay, well I think I got this right. I wish that this collar would tighten this down a little bit more, but it's got a thing on the side which you can't see which locks into a lug hole. And then this thing will spin when you hit this. So now we gotta get our tire iron. Pry the tire up. This plastic thing here will make it so it shouldn't tear the crap out of the rim. And then, just like that. And then, The inside one is pretty much the same, but I've got to I gotta get creative and I'm gonna need two hands for this to get this set up. So it goes down in there kind of like that. And then I am so sorry for the crappy video. Like I said earlier, tire machines are a two-handed there so that came off that way and now I need to flip it 
came off that way. I need to flip it. Flip it that way. And to put it back on, get it kind of up on there like that. Oops, wrong direction. So this is not easy. There's that side. And to get the top side in, had to use the bar. I couldn't film it because I needed two hands. But oh, I think I'm doing it backwards. But it works. So there's that. Then this stuff all comes off. Sits down in there, something like that. Put our valve core back in. Hopefully I didn't tear up my brain and valves down. That guy in. Put our hose on. I didn't know it's gonna fight so on the bead. I had a hell of a time putting these on the bead. But you get the picture. So there's our tire machine. Pretty cheap, easy fix. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. So you know I was having a hard time getting this to actually hold the wheel down. This is the thing that I said goes into the lug stud. So there's that. And uh, so you screw that down and then you pull on this thing and it pulls the wheel down and holds it tight against there. So yeah. Then you hit that and it lets it go. So yeah, you know, live and learn. But yeah, I just figured I'd add that to the video. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.